But yeah, uh, but yeah, that's one of the things. So, uh, been on dial ever since 2009. It's about 12 years or so. Mm hmm. So, uh, that's a, that's a long time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the beat, you know, the bachelor be on Dallas, but uh, uh, that's 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 pretty much where they put your your needles mm. in there to to draw the blood and everything, right? right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and and I guess just just tell more about uh your experience with it, uh, the 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 ups and downs of it, uh, cause I I I, I I'm very sure you have other people that's that's either on Dallas or have family members that's on Dallas. So uh, you know everybody have their own experience with it. But mm -hmm. uh, if you can just you know, well the most the most thing I would tell anybody keep your focus. You know uh, Dallas, it's uh, as long as you can get the treatment. It's not so bad. Right, right. Yeah, but uh yeah, you know, lately they they said my heart is about gone. Mm -hmm. So and that come from that kidney failure. Right. Because right. of working with your body. Right, with so, your organs. Yeah, with your organs and, and, and see it work with your the a biggest portion of your body. Your kidney controls all that. Right. And so they uh they, the doctor told me that my heart is gone and nothing they can do about it. Well, but <clears throat> I live a good life. Thank God for all of y'all doing good. It ain't in jail nowhere. You got a good job. You working. You, I got my grandchildren. I got good people around me. And so that helps a lot. And uh, when you got good people around you that don't talk it down, uh, it's just a job. It's just something you happen. You got to go through. Right. Yeah. So it it it, it, it get rough sometimes, but just keep pushing. Right. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, many people don't want to do it. I had a buddy say he wasn't gonna do it, and he didn't. Two weeks he was gone too. <clears throat> but I tried to talk to him. I said. You need to live for your grandchildren and everything. He said, I ain't going to do that. He said, I just ain't going to do it. And he left me in two weeks. That that made me feel real bad. But uh, all you can do is tell them that. But if you got faith in God, you don't let that mind get in your mind. Right. Yeah, that cause you to uh, let your life go just like that. <clears throat> Yeah, so you got to keep a positive mind. Yeah, I know you're going to die when your time come, but let's, let's, let's keep on pushing. Right. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. That's, that's, uh, that's the main thing. And, <coughs> and, and also, um, what, what if, if, if God took you the day or tomorrow, uh, you know, from... from your heart, what would you want uh, your family to know, your friends, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, what would be your deal that you would want them to know about your legacy of, of what? Mr. T.J. Richardson? What, what would you well, want the people to know? Well, they know my legacy. Everybody, that is right now, they call and tell me the toughest, I was the toughest old man they ever seen. Right. Cause I never give up, right. and uh, so you build your legacy, uh, and, and see, can't nobody take that from you. Right. Yeah, they they know they know you would know what you've done. They've been around you, and and, uh, and and my thing is, I tell I tell them all, dying ain't no problem. Right. It's where you go after you die. Right. So you have to get your heart right and everything. So once you leave him. You know everything means taken care. Right. Yeah, cause uh, Bible have promised me that He was gonna bless me, my children, and my children's children. Right. He He promised me that if I live right. 
So when you living right and God gave you that promise, you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs>